Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to use data validation to ensure certain string patterns. So for example, with my employee number, I have four numeric digits, a hyphen, followed by a single numeric digit, then a hyphen, and then three text characters or alpha characters. I also have a UK national insurance number here. And that's quite complex. Just go into the note for this. So you'll see that the first two characters need to be two uppercase text characters. You cannot have certain characters like B, G, G, B, T, N, or Z, Z at the beginning. Then you have six numeric characters, and then you have a final optional letter, A, B, C, or D. So that's much more complex in terms of the pattern that's allowed. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use regex or regular expressions within our data validation. And I've just asked ChatGPT to come up with the regular expressions that I'm going to need for these two columns. So here's the example of the question I asked in ChatGPT. Create a regex for data validation purposes that forces the following string pattern, four Ns, then an N, then three As, where N is a numeric character and A is an uppercase alpha character. And it just came up with the regex for me, which I then can copy and paste into Excel. So let's first apply the data validation to the employee number column. What I'm going to do is copy this regex. And first of all, I'm just going to show you the formula we're going to use within data validation. Sometimes helpful to see it on the spreadsheet. We're going to use a function called regex test. First argument is text. So the text that we want to validate, comma. And then the pattern is the regular expression. So that needs to go in speech marks. So I'll paste it in there. Last argument is case sensitivity. We can build that within the regex. And in fact, it is already built in. So we'll close the bracket and press enter. And you can see it returns true there. But for example, if I change this to an alpha character, which wouldn't be allowed, I'd get a false. So that is basically the formula we need to use within our data validation. I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to select all of the cells that I want to apply the data validation to. So on the data tab of my ribbon, in the data tools group, I click on this button here, data validation. In this allow list, I'm going to choose custom. And then in the formula bar, I'm going to paste in that formula that I copied to the clipboard. Then I just need to click on OK. So let's see if it works. So I'm going to type in an invalid employee number. Let's have lowercase letters. And if I press enter, you can see it doesn't allow that entry. Now, what I can do is come up with a better kind of warning dialog box that explains the pattern that is valid within this column. So to do that, I select those cells again, go back to data validation. And I'm going to go to the error alert tab and I give this dialog box a title. So employee number. And then I need to, in the error message box, just explain how to type in a correct employee number. So if I click on OK, and I type in an incorrect number, then I get a better dialog box telling me what I should actually type in. So let's now try it for the national insurance numbers. Here's the regular expression. I'll copy it onto my clipboard. And we'll use our regex test formula. So then we'll copy that formula. And we're going to apply data validation to these cells. So with the cells selected, I go to the data tab on the ribbon, click on the data validation button, allow custom. And I just paste that formula into this formula box. And then you'd also put in an appropriate error alert message. I won't do that here. Click on OK. So let's see if the data validation works. I'll type in that same national insurance number, but using lowercase. And you can see it doesn't like it. But if I change the numbers to uppercase, it's going to be OK with that. And if I was to type in the wrong sequence of characters, 
So if I had one letter at the beginning, press enter, it's not going to like that either. Now, the other thing you can do is use these regular expressions to highlight values that don't meet the string pattern that you require. Now, you can do this with conditional formatting or data validation. So for example, if I go back to my data validation button, you can see here I have the option to circle invalid data. I'll just clear that. So that's one option. The other thing you can do, as I said, is use conditional formatting. Now for that to work, you will need that same regex formula. So I'll just create it for the employee number column. That's my text. And the pattern is the regular expression. So I then copy that formula. I select all the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. Home tab on my ribbon, conditional formatting, new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And all I do is paste that formula into this box here. Now, as you probably know, conditional formatting will apply the format if the formula returns true. So at the moment, it's going to format cells that have met the test, whereas I want it to format cells that haven't met the test. So I could put this within the not function, which will mean that the trues become falses and the falses become trues. Then I can specify my format. So I have a red background and white text. So if I click on OK, you can see it highlights the invalid entries. OK. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.